Jaipur is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a city that is nearly 400 years old. Jaipur was founded in 1727 AD by Raja Swai Jai Singh II. Earlier, the capital was in Amer. So because of less supply of potable water, the then ruler, Mr. Jai Singh II, visualized to establish a new capital known as Jaipur. East to west, there was a bell coordinated butter supplies. And there was a ridge from Chandpol to Surajpol. They created subterranean channels that went way under the surface of the soil that saved the water from being evaporated. And through a system of gravity, they would draw the water over large surfaces. An entire city planned with a gridiron that allowed for a strong commercial land use of crafts, bazaars along the ground floors. Essential to the survival of these crafts and to the survival of the inner city of Jaipur was a need to rationalize traffic and to reduce the traffic congestion. At the initiative of the government of Rajasthan, the Jaipur Metro Rail project was planned in 2010. It was supposed to have two lines, one going east-west, other going north-south. The east-west line was called phase one. But since the world city posed its own challenges, this line was divided into two phases, phase 1A and phase 1B. Talking about phase 1B, it is an extension to already existing phase 1A, which is an elevated corridor which connects an outer part to the heart, the core of the city, which is the walled city area. That project was costing around 1,000 crore rupees. And for that amount, we were not having the sufficient fund with the state government. We approached the ADB. When we approach ADB for any particular project, they have certain stringent guidelines. The Asian Development Bank safeguard policies covers three safeguard areas. Environment safeguards, involuntary resettlement, and indigenous people safeguards. For the Jaipur Metro project, it was mainly the requirements of the environment safeguards which were triggered because of all the presence of the physical cultural resources above the metro alignment. Thanks to the insistence of Asian Development Bank, we assessed all the risks that were involved in the project. It was a big challenge to safeguard the physical cultural resources of Jaipur. So we began with a detailed documentation. We studied all the structures, either side of the alignment. The architectural team began documenting the elevations, the facades. At the same time, the structural team began doing a structural audit of building by building, shop by shop. Each and every building was mapped for its hazard. Once that was done, we kept the whole report onto the public portal for public to view and comment onto it. So we had a very robust redressal system. We could inform them and educate them. The challenge in Rajasthan is always that there is sand layer up to 35, 40 meters. Metro has to pass underground. What we were worried about is during this operation, if we actually land up excavating extra soil, the foundations will become unstable. Our tunnel boring machine was to be entered from the Chandpol gate. The weight of Chandpol gate was about 600 metric ton. They had set the team viewer settings in a manner that we on our screens could actually see the operating screen of the TBM operator. For three days, day and night, we were watching the movement of the tunnel boring machine. The tunnel boring machine crossed the Chandpul gate. It was an occasion to celebrate. So we started excavating for these two stations, Choti Chopad and Badi Chopad. We found old photographs that actually showed the Choti Chopar with something that seemed like a step well. That is what changed the direction of the Jaipur Metro project. We changed the design of the metro station and took it six meters below what was planned allowing that six meters to be able to save the step well. And then we began what is a unique archaeological excavation in the heart of a metro project. When we removed the debris, we found intact the step well and steps around a square water tank. And right at the base of that water tank, 
we found this beautiful stone column that would have been the base for a much larger fountain. We found gaumuks as they are called in Hindi which were crafted in white marble and these were the water spouts that spouted water into these kunds and each one of the marble gaumuks was then moved into Albert Hall Museum and each piece of stone as we found it was documented very thoroughly and taken into storage and then came the process of anastylosis where we brought back each stone we laid it right back as it was and recreated these step wells and these kunds back in the heart of the choppers we made sure that what we have right now is given back to the society as it is the project not only protected all the heritage structures that were located above the alignment, they even created a museum in the station of Choti Chopper. So we had one particular level which was brought in, which is cover level. So at cover level, we have a kund. At the top, you have a road running. Under cover level, you have a concourse level. And that area, we all decided, should be the repository of this discovery. At Choti Chopper, we constructed a metro museum. When we reinstated Gomuks, they are stored in the museum itself. There was no risk to the historic fabric of Jaipur because of the very strong policies of Asian Development Bank. We are very proud of this Jaipur Metro project and we are very thankful to the JMRC team and the contractor and all the consultants involved for the excellent job that was done. I believe that this will be an example for other projects across the world. So hats off to the whole ADB team, they created the team spirit which was very handy in tough times.